So after we've launched the program, we'll go ahead and connect our device, and then it will connect our device to our computer. And now we're going to go down to More Tools and click on iOS System Recovery. And in my case, mine's in good condition, but if yours isn't, it should look something like this. You could have a black screen stuck at the Apple logo, recovery mode stuck, or another problem. And basically what this will allow you to do is click on Start and diagnose all of your issues and recover any data and then put your device back to factory settings so it's like brand new. So basically you just have to follow the prompts and tell it what is wrong with your device and it will most likely fix it for you. And again this is very useful if you've had black screen problems stuck at the Apple logo or any of these here. There's also an advanced mode you can use by clicking down here to go between standard and advanced and this will basically be the same thing but ask for a little bit more detailed of information. That is it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed. That is how you use and access the iOS system recovery feature.